Hey, what's up, family? It's your boy Polo Born Fly here to give you a uh, live react of the 18 minute Ghost of Tsushima gameplay trailer. I haven't seen this yet. I'm wanting to watch it uh, on YouTube. I'm gonna put this on YouTube for everybody to see. But first, I want to touch on why I haven't been streaming. Um, other than me being quote unquote an essential worker, I'm still working um, extremely hard. But the main reason is because I haven't had a game to play. Now, I want to touch on that because the main game I used to play when I streamed on twitch.tv slash polo born fly was black desert online. Um, my time with black desert online has been a long one. It's been a long journey with black desert. I love the game, um, but I wasn't having fun with it on a positive side. My guild posts for those of you who, uh, who've known the, the channel twitch.tv slash polo born fly posts deteriorated a while ago, probably about a year ago. Um, but now they decided to rebuild. So Post is rebuilding in Black Desert Online. I may be coming back to Black Desert Online. I'm still not 100% sure on that. Um, I may stream a couple of times playing BDO, see if I have fun with it. I know I definitely miss the community and the people that used to come through the streams all the time. Even when I don't stream BDO, there's still a lot of a lot of you that come by the stream and, and, and you know interact with us because you guys just appreciate me and I appreciate you for that. But I may come back um, relatively soon here. We'll see. I may even do a stream today or the day I'm recording this video. Um, it might be up there. But uh, make sure you guys check out that Twitch channel. Um, but this, this uh, I guess, watch along or, you know, live reacts is brought to you by Lube Complex. That is my channel sponsor. And that is also the sponsor of our anime podcast, which is the shirt I'm wearing right here. Uh, Mike Check Waifu Waifu. So go to MikeCheckWaifuWaifu.com. The link will be below the like button. So if you're into anime and you like anime, check out that podcast. It's like me and Tell's like pride and joy. We love it so much. And again, my Twitch channel will be down below too. So if you're following this channel and you don't know I stream on twitch.tv slash polo ball fly, make sure you go follow that as well. So sorry for the long intro. I'm done with the rant. Uh, but I am probably going to come back to streaming soon frequently. And it may be Black Desert. No promises yet. We shall see. Now, let's watch this Ghost of Tsushima. Full presentation. 1080p 60 frames per second gameplay. It's the first time I'm seeing this. So I'm excited. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. Hey, We Jason. have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. Tsushima. I think I pronounced it right when I said it, but I'm excited. Exploring Tsushima. Holy shit, that's beautiful. This is the first time they've shown any gameplay of it. <laughs> Besides, like, exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Look how beautiful that shit is. Holy cow, that looks good. PlayStation single player games always had like look the same in their menus. But I don't care, they're all great. Yo, it's like about time we're seeing stuff about this game. Like, about time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like they've just been saying, hey, Ghost of Tsushima's coming. 
we finally got a release date and now actual gameplay. This is way too pretty. Call a gust of wind to point you in the gust right direction. So you use wind basically as your waypoint finder or your map. That's a smart way of doing navigation so that you don't have to have a crazy HUD using the wind, you know? The guiding wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game, like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd-shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no I wonder, man, this is gorgeous. Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Let's go, Nobu. Collecting crafting materials. I love a good crafting system. I hope I'm gonna be able to like put this on YouTube. Oh, this is from the source is from IGN, obviously, where I'm watching this video from. Foxes will guide you into hitting shrines across the island. Interesting. That's freaking cool. So it's not a bunch of like waypoints and compasses that you have to follow. It's pretty dope. I already see myself just getting lost in it. My inner charm slot. I don't know what that's for yet. Once you visit a location, you'll be able to return with fast travel. Okay. They still got fast Sushima travel. Sushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Holy hell, this is beautiful. Lord Sakai. This is gorgeous, man. This is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you Holy some exploration, shit. but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Look at that armor, though. 
That shit looks sick. Like amazing sick. Alright, now this will determine on if I get this. I'm probably gonna get it anyway, regardless. Like, this will determine on if I play it like hardcore. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Because if the combat is like Soulsy or uh, Sekiro ish, you know? Waiting for the other to make the first move. Fight me! Jenkins. <laughs> Yes, dude, let's go. Okay. Okay. No, I'm down. I'm down. Bonus kill enemies. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. Mm. So, yeah, the combat is like old school Assassin's Creed, which I am down for. Oh my goodness, dude. Change the stance. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool, dude. Wait a minute. This is way too cool. Way too freaking cool. I should. Yeah, this is way too cool. No way, dude. <laughs> he killed him with so much drip. It's insane. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. Whoa. Even using fear as a weapon. Dishonorable ghost, use distractions. Yo. I think I like the dishonorable ghost way. But uh, to be honest, no, sneaking isn't isn't my favorite style of gameplay. But this shit That's a big dude. He got a lot of armor on. That's ah. him. He sees you. You're right in front of me. Oh, smoke bomb. Wow, dude. Oh, the Mongols will learn to fill you as a ghost. Use that to your advantage. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my gosh. This is so good. This is way too good.
Both of styles of gameplay seems extremely cool. Like way, way, way cool. complete <laughs> this is wild okay customization I'm all about that so you can customize your gin you might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as the ghost Jin had on a different set of armor that's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages it's not just the way it looks it helps accent your chosen play style as you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them, and you can change the color of an armor. Yes. Not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine-tune the look as well. Yo, this is sick. This is sick. Obviously, PlayStation loves their photo modes, and they do Wouldn't such a, a good job game of it. it didn't have photo mode. Yep. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color grading, depth of field, so you can focus on the right objects. We have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement that's so great about our game. You can control the wind's direction, the speed, you can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. Wow. You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's nice. a few that I've created. How amazing, dude. Of course, Japanese voice tracks for the uh, subtitle Elias. <laughs> A Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. I'm impressed. Oops. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on <laughs> from the very beginning of the game. That's awesome. What can you turn it off at any time though? The fact that that's even an option is just sick. Not that I'm gonna use it or many people are gonna use it, but I just love the fact that it's a freaking option. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's such a just different thing, you know? 
Today, we've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've also shared I'm with impressed. you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai, or assassinate as the ghost, or customize Jin, or play in special ways. But we have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you later. July 17th. Now, I gotta say this. What I don't understand, okay? What I don't understand about this is why the hell didn't they show this off sooner? I mean, not that it's a problem. Like, for those people who uh, aren't aware, Sony has been having a lot of trouble with like leakers and stuff. Or not Sony, but Naughty Dog. So like everybody was thinking they were given all the intention to The Last of Us because they didn't believe in Ghost of Tsushima. That's clearly, I mean, that clearly shouldn't be the case, but that's how they were acting. But to be honest, I kind of like the way they did this a lot more than just throwing hitting us with a bunch of trailers like they have for other games. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like this version of um, of just showing out right a couple of months before launch instead of just bombarding us with spoiler trailers and stuff like this this is all i need, needed to see i don't need to know anything about the story i don't know i don't need to know what's going on i don't even need to see any more gameplay this is honestly perfect so for those of you who believe they didn't believe in ghost of tsushima i hope that proved you wrong because this game is awesome it looks great i can't wait to see more um it's going to be an incredible experience and um for that, that'll wrap this watch along or what let's play or not let's play. This isn't a let's play. This is a watch along. So this wraps this up. Thank you all so much for watching, hanging out with me. Make sure you guys check out the links in the description, uh, the podcast. And again, I might come back to streaming soon and that'll be BDO. So if you're interested in watching that, go to twitch.tv slash Polo Born Fly. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.